Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'd like you to join me for another December rummage sale. So this one is over in New Jersey. I have never been to this one. It's actually in uh, Newton, New Jersey. And I happened upon this mistakenly as I was searching for something else. And I believe it's the first time they've ever had this sale. So let's go check it out here at this rummage sale and it opens at nine and the, one of the ladies just came out and said that if we want to pay five dollars we can get in early so i'm gonna do that oh wow that's cute okay thank you Is neat. And these are personalized. It says Nana. Shelly ornaments. That's interesting. It's lights. It's all our bag. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh. We label that so people know. I know. Mine reprinted those, Sally. Oh, I tried. Well, it's straight. It's oh. in the middle. You did? I tried. And then Phil did it correctly. Oh, Phil did it. All right, the Christmas music got really loud here and no one was talking really to block it out or anything. So, um, yeah. I did want to get those two Ainsley vases, um, as I noted in the top, but I forgot to go back and get them. This is a cute chenille Christmas stocking. I should have grabbed that mom one too, but I didn't. I really like the penguins though. I'm not sure what this is. It's, it looks like a handmade kind of picture, but it's made out of fabric. And these are some kind of candles. They didn't really look to be worth anything though. I like the look of these cute vintage Mr. and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers. They're marked with a number, but I'm not sure who the maker is. The angels were marked with a number too, but I just didn't really like the look of them as much. I think he was like a handmade type thing, hand painted. And this Santa had a, like a quality feel to it, but I don't think it was anything great. Those hallmarks can go for quite a bit, some people say, but I've never figured out which ones. It's a cute little creamer. They really had so much to look at here. This is a Heinrich or Heinrich uh, plate. 
which is normally a good name in, in pottery. So that went in my bag. I thought this Lennox Angel was really pretty. So I kind of went back and forth for a minute with her, but then I ultimately decided to put her in my bag. This is a cute little set, but it, it wasn't marked or anything. I'm not really sure who it was made by, and I'm dropping the pieces. Oops. As you can see now throughout the video, this man, one of the employees, is following my mom around, who's making her so nervous. He just wanted to write down everything she was picking up before she put it in her bag so she'd be ready at checkout. But it was really kind of stressing her out. <laughs> I can't blame her. I wouldn't want someone to follow me anyway. I'm not sure why he thought that was a good idea. Thankfully, no one was bothering me. This was a cool find, even though it did have a little tiny nick on the handle. I still grabbed it. I was nervous about putting this stuff in my bag at this point, so I started to put things up at the, um, pretty soon I started to put things up at the, the counter with the lady. Checking out the bags. This one looked pretty good to me at the time. It looked in better condition than the blue one. I thought this was kind of interesting double handled or double horse spout pitcher, I guess. <laughs> Look at me trying to juggle everything. I do have that angel out of the bag now and I'm carrying it because I didn't want it to bounce against the salt and pepper shakers that were in my bag. My mom's over there filling up her bag. Okay guys, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage inside the store or the sale, I should say. I went to a lot of thrift stores after the sale, so that's gonna be in a separate video. Anyway, they did have music playing and everything, so I'm not sure how the footage turned out. I actually haven't even looked at that yet, so I'll get to that once I edit this whole video. <laughs> Swinging around a knife. I was actually um, taking some tags off of something so I've been filming a few hauls. So anyway, this sale, upon first glance, did not look like much. And it started at 9. I was in the parking lot by about 25 after 8. And just sitting there, sitting there waiting. There weren't really any other cars. One of my local friends was supposed to go and she didn't even show up. And I'm like, what's going on? So then one of the workers came out and she said, listen, if you'd like to come in early... Uh, you just have to pay a $5 admission fee and you can come and shop now. So I was like, okay, heck yeah. And at this time I didn't know what it looked like inside or anything, but I was like, yeah, that way I can like get moving, move on to the thrift stores that I wanted to go to. Uh, only problem is my mom did not want to pay the $5. Um, my mother hates to pay anything extra. <laughs> And sometimes, you know, that can be a little bit of an issue when I do take her. So I ended up paying for her, for her also. So I ended up spending $10 to get in because my mom didn't want to pay. So I had to pay for her. So I spent $10 to get into this sale early. My mother and I were the only two people in there except for the workers. Um, 
I'm glad we got in early though, because a couple of the workers were buying their own stuff back. It was like, it was funny. Two of them actually did that. All right. Anyway, let's get into this haul. So it didn't look like much upon first glance. As soon as I walked in, I was like, uh-oh, uh, did I waste $10 to get in here? And then it got good. I started to really see what was put out on these tables. So let's get into it because I've rambled for two minutes now. So in here oh okay this right here oh also aside from the ten dollars i spent to get in for my mother and i i spent 59 dollars 59 dollars at this sale so this is a piece of fitz and floyd uh vista bella i don't know how this pattern does but i thought it was really cute and i decided to take a chance with it it's a little frosted over. It just came out of my car. I didn't even unpack when I got home yesterday. I It was a long day of thrifting and sailing and everything. So I just unpacked this stuff now. So anyhow, then I picked these up. I have to look these up. I'm not sure. Um, it does say two antique 1898 French decorative hanging plates, both by A.T. Boyd. These were $10 for the pair. So I don't know much about A.T. Boyd, but I will look it up. They kind of have the, um, they kind of have the, the vibes of R.S. Prussia. One's yellow, one's pink. I thought they were beautiful. Speaking of my mom, I think she's here now, so I might have to pick up where I left off filming this haul. <laughs> All right, so now we're about three hours later and I'm back. My mother has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> and gone home and now I'm gonna finish this haul so back to this real quick um, I was showing this I thought this was kind of funny and I think it ended up being 25 or 50 cents I can't even remember now at this point but um, yeah I just thought this was humorous it's from primitives by Kathy and I've sold this brand before so I think that'll do okay all right what else do we have in this purse here this I just thought was kind of neat. Uh, it's a little box. It's it's newer. It's made to look old. It's a petite cigar box is what it's called. And it says, it's 50 cents. And it says world class junk. <laughs> world class junk. Store valuables inside. And it says, take yourself for a spin. It's just got all these like vintage style kind of um, infinite possibilities. It's a little paper inside, just a little box. I think I'm gonna keep this and put like, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. Some kind of world-class junk. Isn't it cool? I think it's really cool. I like it, so yeah. Pick that up. Let's see what do I have in here? Oh, these little guys. So these, these were about $2 for the set. Max, calm down. Someone must be going down the road. So these are vintage salt and pepper shakers. And I have a little bit of paint loss, but they're cute. Cute little set, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. All right, so we're going to try this again. I had to stop once again because Max was barking like a lunatic. So anyway, I picked this up. This is Kimber, France. I believe that's how that's pronounced. I found two pieces in this pattern. Uh, this brand I have always wanted to find, and these are my first two pieces. So super excited about that. Um, some of this, some of this pottery can sell for a ton of money. This I believe is just kind of middle of the road. Uh, I don't think it's super, super crazy good, but I think it'll still be a nice return. I paid $3 for the set. 
Then I picked these 12 shots of Christmas glasses up. I thought these were pretty funny. These are newer, obviously. Uh, they're just, they're just kind of funny. One three-eyed partridge. No, one one-eyed partridge. I can't see. It's like all, I don't know, two turtles drunk, three hammered hens, four frozen birds, five golden things. It's just kind of funny. So someone I think will like those for the holidays. This is a silicone measuring cup and measuring spoon set. I am going to keep that for myself because... I don't know why, but measuring cups always disappear. It's such a large item to go missing, yet they always do. All right. So here I have a Lennox Blessings from Heaven Angel. She's in really nice condition. No box or anything, but... Otherwise, yeah, I don't see any issues with her. So I picked her up and then I got this coach black crossbody bag and it still has the original tag. So this I paid up a little bit for, it was $15, but it's a really nice bag. I love crossbodies myself, but I think this one's a little small for me or I might keep it. But um, as of right now, I think I am gonna list this and I'm hoping to get about 40 to $50 for this. It's a really nice black pebbled leather coach bag. I don't know if it has the original price on it. It doesn't, but it's a nice bag. All right, then I picked this penguin stocking up. It's kind of little chenille kind of puffiness to it. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a Heinrich uh, Germany plate. This was 50 cents. So I've done well with that brand before. So I picked that up. And then I got a stack of William Sonoma scalloped heart plates. I don't know if they're all, oh yeah, they're white and pink. So I think those will do well with Valentine's Day coming up. I always sell heart-shaped plates around Valentine's Day. Makes sense though, right? And, and then I picked this up. This is a Simply Poo Disney colander. So isn't that an interesting piece? It needs to be cleaned up a little, but it says time for a little something. And yeah, it's Winnie the Pooh. So I thought that was kind of neat. Pick that up. They had a couple of really nice William Sonoma Italy pieces, but unfortunately they had some chips and cracks, so I didn't pick that up. This is a Deruda Italy. I don't know if this is like a pitcher kind of. It's got these, um, I don't know. Both sides, you could use both sides, baby. But anyway, I've sold Deruda before, Deruda pot pottery, and have had success with it. It's sold for a decent amount. Oh, you know what? I was emptying this bag and it had stuff packed in it, but I think I forgot to show you the actual bag. So this is a Vera Bradley. I've sold this color before. Uh, I don't remember the exact pattern name and it looks like it's got a couple small surface marks on the bottom of the inside but it should still it should still sell so that I picked up as well and I think this is the last item this was ten dollars bought a couple ten dollar items right this was ten dollars but I thought it was super super cool super unique so this is a ship. Not only is it a ship, 
it is a bar set. So it's got shot glasses. It's got four shot glasses, two in the back, two in the front. It's got a decanter that almost looks like a candle. This, I mean, from afar, I thought this was like an oil lamp, right? Doesn't it look like it kind of? The little white wick sticking out, but that's not a wick. It's a pourer. So this is a ship decanter bar set. But not only that, it's a music box. So when you lift up the decanter, it plays. I think it needs to be wound. So the winder, the winder <laughs> is right here. And then there we go. How it's supposed to stop when you put the bottle down, but it didn't. Why isn't it stopping? Oh, it's not in there all the way. That's why. <laughs> How cool is that, right? That is so freaking unique. I feel like maybe it was supposed to have something sticking out of here. What could that have been? Maybe like stirs or something, but I guess you don't really need to stir anything if you're just pouring shots. Um, it doesn't have any maker's marks on the bottom. It's just felt. But I will tell you one thing. This is unique. This is so unique. And I love it. I just think this is so cool. So I am extremely happy with how this sale turned out. I'm extremely happy with everything I bought. Um, I love rare, unique items and interesting items. And I think I found all of that at this spot. So... Yeah, I I will definitely go back there next year <laughs> and I will definitely show up early and pay a fee to get in. So that is everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.